Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Leah and today I'm just going to do a super quick get ready with me. I'm heading out shopping with my mom and my cousin and I thought you guys could join me and talk about a whole bunch of random stuff. Today I am going to go out and do some shopping with my mom and my cousin who's in town visiting. So I'm going to be using my Milk Hydro Grip Primer and my Tarte Found Sealer. I love these two and I like them together, but I've been kind of like doing this like hoarding thing where I don't use these because like to me they're like the ones I love and they're kind of fancy. Um, because I'm on a no buy so I've been using my other stuff to go through it and saving these for special occasions which is silly um so today I'm going to actually use them <laughs> I already do have the primer on because you have to let it dry down before you can put it on that was the biggest lesson I learned when I first got it I hated it the first two times I used it until I mm, actually read the directions that <laughs> were given by milk to put it on and let it dry down it says for a full minute but I find that three to five works the best so yeah I am getting out of the house today I am seeing somebody besides my husband and my kid which don't get me wrong I absolutely love hermit life and staying home um, but my cousin's in town and I haven't seen her I don't think since my grandma's funeral and that was three years ago um so it'll be fun to just kind of get to see her and hang out and have kind of a girl time today and her mom actually passed gosh was it has it been almost a year yeah wow um time goes by so quickly so i think it'll be nice to just have kind of a day that's like a girl's day for her with my mom and myself and we'll go get lunch and have fun and it'll be nice what do we think of this color does it seem a little light? I was color matched at Sephora when I bought this, but I feel like, well, I guess it looks, no, I guess it's summer, so I'm getting, I've been playing outside with my kid quite a bit, so I guess I'm getting a little bit more color on my body than usual, so now this feels like it's a little light. But it does just, it really looks nice on your skin. I, I really like this foundation a lot. I'm using the trusty old ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I use the shade Light 16 for under my eyes and then the shade Light 10 as an eyeshadow base because it's very light. So how are you guys this week? I am having a much better week than the last time I checked in. I think um, the sun's been really shining all week and I know I've talked before about how much weather can affect my mood but like the sun's been shining so I've been able to be out and like um, digging in my garden and planting and taking care of that but then also we've been taking kiddo to the park which has been so fun and playing with him in the backyard and um, it honestly has completely changed my mood our life situation hasn't changed at all but just like my ability to deal with things is completely different this week and I'm I'm very happy about that. <laughs> Today I'm pulling out the old Pro Fusion Temptress palette. I haven't used this one in a while and I really really like it. It's got such fun colors um, and I'm really feeling this like shiny teal one here called Geode. Um, so we're going to play around with that today. I'm going to start with this shade here called Courage. All right, pro tip, you guys. This is the Wet n Wild. I can't. I think it's like the large shadow brush. I got this at the dollar store, so it was a dollar. They're like a dollar at Target and a dollar at Walmart. This is the best super fluffy blending brush. It's so nice and soft, and like, look how blurred out the edges look. I love this brush. I have like three of them. All right, next I'm gonna grab this shade here called Rocker. It's kind of a shimmer shade. I haven't used it before, um, but I'm gonna just go right on my the edge of the, the old peepers here. Ooh. Yep, that'll work. I thought it was gonna be a bit light. So am I the only one? Do you guys watch what we do in the shadows? Holy cow. I am so in love with that TV show. It's on FX or FXX. I think F, whichever one they can swear on, that's the one that it's on. I am obsessed. The, I loved the movie so much when it came out a few years ago. Like it was a movie that Mike and I saw the preview for like 
months before the movie came out and we had set <laughs> we set a timer on our phone for when the movie came out and then we lived in San Diego at the time so we were able to like see it when it came out and the second it started we were just like this is perfection it's written by um or the original film was written by Jermaine Clement um he's in he's in Flight of the Concords and then Taika Waititi who is the director of Thor and just he's so great they're both hilarious and the movie was so good that I was really nervous about the tv show um and I know I have a lot to say on this, <laughs> but because that movie is just so like one of my top five that I was nervous about the TV show. And then I found out that the original writers were on um, or Jermaine was the one who um, was the one who um, adapted it for TV. So I was like, OK, this will be fine. And then they got the most amazing cast i cannot say how freaking good these people are on the show so if you haven't watched what we do in the shadows you can watch it on hulu if you're a hulu person um it's on fx so if you've got the fx app it is so funny i <clears throat> uh the other night and the nice thing is it's a half hour show so last week we were just like kind of cleaning up the house and needed something you know background noise so we just put that on and we watched the entire series in an evening while we were just you know kind of futzing around the house doing stuff and we had such a fun time with that sorry so i'm using geode that teal color and i'm using this luxie 209 large shader brush this brush is so good for putting on shimmery shades because it's really it's kind of a, a good flat ish wide shape but it's really dense and not too wiggly fluffy so it doesn't make a lot of the sh uh, shimmer fall onto your cheeks but it applies them so they look very nice so definitely I have this one this came in a boxy charm I think with that festival pure palette that was just okay all right let's browse um so I'm using the Shady Slim Pencil from LA Girl, which I love because it is so skinny and so cheap. In stuff I did on a Wib News, I cut my hair the other night, like cut my own hair. I did not go to someone to do it. I followed a YouTube tutorial about the unicorn cut, I think is what it's called. Um, where basically you take all of your hair and put it in like a ponytail right here and then you trim it straight like well, however long you want to put you trim it straight across and it makes like natural layers and it worked <laughs> i don't think it would work super good if you had straight hair just because um you know you would see some of the flaws maybe a little bit better but for whatever you call this texture i think it's like wavy curly um it worked pretty well and my hair looks so much fuller it was looking really flat and kind of stringy um so this kind of brought some life back into it plus i'm getting way better curl definition up in my shorter layers than i was so hooray for home haircuts so that officially makes me the person who cuts hair for the entire family um mike got a clippers for christmas and then what did I do? Took to YouTube and found some tutorials on how to cut dude's hair. So I cut his hair, we cut Magnus's hair at home because that kid's hair grows so crazy fast. And he freaks out in a um, salon environment. Like the sound of the clippers really bothers him. So if we can have him get his hair cut at home where, you know, it's just the two of us, a stranger is not coming at him with the clippers. Um, it's a little easier like we don't give him a fancy style or anything we just kind of one level over his whole head just so we can get it done super quick and fast but now his hair is like <laughs> at this length and like the shape of his head and everything he looks like regular size Rudy from Bob's Burgers I'll put it right here if you don't know what I'm talking about but we giggle about it so much because he looks just like him <laughs> I think he heard us talking about him. <laughs> Meg just came in and was futzing around and I guess he turned off the camera. So I have mascara on now. It is the Essence Lash Princess. If you like, ew, gross. 
I am obsessed with this. It's like $5 at the drugstore and it looks so good every time. Um, I'm not wearing liner or anything, it's just mascara and I just, I think it looks great. So I am, as you guys know, growing the garden and a pretty big one this year. Like I did quite a bit of additions to my little garden from last year and things are finally starting to grow. This is my favorite, favorite time of planting. Um, when I lived in San Diego, I was in multiple community gardens as I moved around the city. And the thing I miss about that is we had a year long planting season or growing season. So here, now that I've only got a few months, I have to be pretty strategic in what and when I grow. And I'm finally starting to see my stuff come up, so I'm very, very excited. Um, I did post a garden tour over on my other channel. So if you want to see what's going on in there, the link is going to be below. It's um, a work in progress, we'll say. Uh-oh. <laughs> Look who's here. Yeah. No, you. You're who's here. I love you, love Yep. Can you pick out a color? Hmm. Which one? Let's see. That one. Which one? That one. That one? He picked toasted. Look at that. That's a pretty one. Good choice. Magnus, what are we growing in the garden? We had Marco Littis cucumber. Thank you, Peppa Pig. My child has a British accent. <laughs> what color lipstick should I wear today? Black. Black? I don't know about that. How about whatever this one is? Good job. Thank you. So he picked the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Seductress, which is one of my favorites. <laughs> That's yuck. It's yuck. Right, so that is it for me today. I am off with this little monster to go shopping and have fun. I hope you guys have a super great rest of your day. If you like this video, oh, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for lots more of whatever this is. <laughs> so I just hope you have a super great rest of your day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, 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 bye. bye.